I'm not going to grab the scrap wood for right now just because I don't really have the space for it. That's enough for a door and a half. And I believe we have two planks there, so that give us two doors. We'll just go with the two doors. I can't see well enough in the dark to be messing around looking for those planks we left on the ground. I guess I do not need to worry about watering these at all. They're just endlessly getting rained on. Can't see why you won't let me. Door is here. There we go. And one more door, and then we've got that. Now we need to try and get a bed up here. That'll be the last planks we need to make the other door, at which point we've got, you know, everything framed out. We can be quote-unquote safe in there. Let's see. Um, are you around a bunch of corpses, Ehecky? Or did you eat something you shouldn't have been? Because that's that's the thing. All of the symptoms you can get that give you that signify that you have the zombie plague, there's also other things that can cause it. So you have to make sure there isn't something else that has been the problem. 
All right, so now I need to find ourselves a bed. So I'm going to start going to places, tearing apart beds until I get successful. I'm going to leave the beds in this place. That way we have some place to sleep should we keep failing. But um, if you get anxious and stuff like that, that means you're infected. If like unless again you have some other reason for that to happen. Yeah, that's not a good indicator. All right, so we're missing large oak bed piece four. So we got one through three. We have a generator in here we know about. I can't really carry any of that stuff right now. Like, we're not properly looting these places. I'm just here for the beds for the most part. So let's see if we get this one. Nope, we destroyed part one of the bed. There's a hiking bag, so we can take that as our new secondary, so get out of here, duffel bag, get in, hiking bag. Alright, I need, I believe, was it part four or part three? Come on. Well, we got three and four, so that's perfect. Cool. That does mean we should have all of the parts. What am I doing? It means I can drop it faster and it makes it lighter so it won't be quite as bad.
that's not what I wanted. And just to make extra sure I cannot walk around this, cool. Nor can I walk around this, cool. I've had bad luck with zombies being able to walk on water in places I did not expect. Mostly involving windows. Um, not in a way that gets you sick. You can eat too much and then um, you'll just gain weight, but it won't make you sick. Um, it's eating stuff that isn't good for you, like can make you sick. Uh, being around too many corpses can make you sick. Being extremely overheated can make you sick. Gotcha, hate filled donut. Um, you can check the Riverside or the um and or the Louisville warehouses, and that's the warehouse near Louisville, not the warehouse in Louisville kind of thing. Oh yeah. That's basically what you do with the guitar. It's like, I'm having a good time. I know it's a temporary good time, but I am having it, like, making the most of it. But yeah, you absolutely grab the guitar and just, like, you know, just knock the zombies down. It's very dangerous, though, because you can absolutely Superman complex and just start obliterating the zombies and suddenly find yourself overwhelmed because you weren't watching carefully because you're just get into the groove. All right, but pretty soon we're going to have our bedroom made, which will be excellent. Oh yeah, like you'll have the rare like two shot and all that, but yep. Um, that's partly just the nature of fish in this game. Fish are a very, very good way to gain weight in the game. Um, as you can see, this bar on the far right is my calories, which is maxed out, which means I'm going to be gaining weight fairly quickly. But that's, that's just fish. Um, for actually living and not gaining or losing a bunch of weight, you're going to have to mix up your food between, like, farmed and fish. Um... Putting in a bowl isn't going to help with the weight gain, but it will usually get you more out of the food you're eating so far as happiness or whatever. But uh, basically when you're dealing with food, there's two kind of mechanics that go into it. There's hunger, which your character can die of hunger in this game. And then there's like nutrition. Um, and so think of the calories as your nutrition that... If you eat calorie-rich food, you gain weight. If you eat calorie-low food, like vegetables and fruits, you lose weight. Um, if you lose weight too much weight, you starve to death by malnutrition. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Like, in real life, it's like, are fish, you know, high-calorie? It's like, well, that depends. 
But yeah, now in this game, fish are very high calorie. Like, our, our calorie gauge is maxed out because of it. Um, there are benefits from mixing your food, but it's not like a hard thing where if you don't get enough of one type of nutrition, you'll just die from it. Or receive some, like, severe penalty or anything like that. I shouldn't do this, but I don't want to take two trips, so I'm overweighing. But, um, like, generally when you're playing the game, you'll end up mixing your food anyways if you're trying to manage your weight, because you'll eat some veggies, you'll eat some fish, you'll eat some veggies, you'll eat some fish, you'll kind of, like, ping-pong back and forth between them. Or other stuff. And so that would give you a variety of nutrition anyways. And, like, at the moment, I'm just eating the fish because my crops are nowhere near ready to to be eaten yet. But I'll eat a bunch of the crops for a long time, then I'll go back to fish as I need more weight. Meta event, don't like it. Now is not a good time for a meta event for me, but that's okay, because I can just accidentally try and climb the wall again, you know, because that's helpful. I can't pick up the bag because it weighs too much. And we have a bed. Oh, I guess I'll pick up the... I was like, but how are we going to do that? Okay, what comes with you when you decide to move again? I'm guessing the next big city, you're just going to bring water and food? Um, so, kind of the way... Kind of the way I'm approaching the relocation in this run is this is going to be our main base in the long run, right? Right now it's not enough, but this is going to be where we keep our long-term, long like, produce going, food, freezers, all that kind of stuff. But um, for the other locations, I am going to drag some equipment with me. Uh, probably not too much in the way of food and all that. Or water. Like, water I'll bring some. But ultimately, this is going to be where we come back to on a regular cadence. So I'll probably go, you know, fly, or fly, drive up to, say, Riverside. We'll fight in Riverside for a week, maybe two. And then we'll run back down here, restock, and then go back up kind of thing. Um, we're not going to do a proper relocation until we go to West Point. Because I want to actually make a... Like, we'll leave this base and make a base in West Point because this is too far away from the east side of the map. But uh, that'll be then. Alright, so we've got our base built, so... It's time to update the to-do list. 
So we're now on the lookout for ice freezers. And unfortunately, the only one I know of in this area is destroyed. Um, I don't know where there's another one nearby. Because I do like those ice freezers a lot, but we'll have to see. Yeah, and I don't want those kind of freezers in the back. I, I want freezer freezers. I don't care about refrigerators. But let's see what we can find for nearby businesses. Because um, if I can locate us a couple of freezers, that'll be great. So we have light fog today, heavy rain tonight. Yeah, these are fridge freezer combos that I'm not going to care much about. I've already got several sacks at this point. Actually, now I'm going to grab the sugar, the olive oil I'll grab. Not gonna worry about the rest of that. Like we'll come through here and we'll tear the whole place apart later. All right, I really hope there'd be some good freezers in there, but nope. No dice there. And I know there's no good freezers in the bar. Um. I don't think there's any other place that does food here on a real level. There's a grocery store, but it just has the uh, the freezer-fridge combo again. So it might be us driving over to rest stops, clearing them out, and trying to get the freezers from the rest stop. I guess the thing I should be working on is getting us some storage. Yeah, I need to get some storage because this thing's full. <laughs> no problem. It's the same thing I've told a lot of people. It's like, yeah, these types of runs aren't necessarily for everyone. Not that it's like some people are or are not capable. It's some people will or will not find them fight fun. Yep, that is that is what it is till you clear an area. 
Once you start clearing on area, you get, like, you've noticed we haven't had too many zombies to fight because we've been, you know, trashing the zombies. One of the other things that causes fish to be so much for the calorie gain is the amount of hunger they help with really goes down as the fish gets stale. Yep, it is a total meat grinder up until that point. So I want to find these freezers before we have produce come up. That way we can solve that. To do that, I'm going to have to drive to some place that we can go and get those freezers. And now I think about, all right, no, we got to get storage first because I have nowhere to put the freezers. Um, let's look at this place and see what we can do for storage. So I can put a line of storage along this side, a bunch of cabinet. Sounds like a good place to start. And I've actually climbed over the wall again. That's going to continuously happen up until the point where I actually get a roof on that place. So I'm going to hit up these houses down here, see if I can't take some of their cabinets. That window's busted out, and I don't believe it was busted out when we first rolled through here. Let's double check that we're all safe. Everything appears to be fine. Okay. First oak cabinet destroyed. Second oak cabinet destroyed. We're not doing well. Alright, we managed to successfully destroy all three of the oak cabinets. Well, of four separate oak cabinets we tried to pull up, we got one of them. And that was with slightly better than 50% chance of getting each individual one. But that is still a start.
Yeah, so it's still these three fish fillets that are absolutely killing our inventory space right now. We'll keep overeating. We're gonna go back into overweight, but that is what it is. It's fine. So we want oak cabinets, because that's what we've been using so far. Yeah, let's see what we can take of that stuff before we go. But the cabinets are the priority at the moment. And I'll also end up taking some of these sinks too. I just need to grab a wrench and do it. Alright, we got the count the corner one. Cool, that's two that we successfully pulled. I wonder why the icons are different size depending on what part of the inventory they were in. That's a weird choice. And we're carrying entirely too much as we do. Dear plants, grow faster. Sincerely, everyone. Like, like, what? What is your deal? The Zomboid, or Zomboid, the Zombie Masker is going real well. We uh, have successfully reached the um, Ekron gas station. As you can see, we've been starting our base building. 
which has been going pretty well as well. We've got some plants down for farming. We've been doing a little fishing. Um, we've killed 4,700 zombies. We were killing them very rapidly. We've been kind of in a lull for a little bit here because we're dealing with this base stuff. But yeah, it's going real well. Now, where are these planks to keep walking by and not grab it? There they are. Okay, so we've got the storage set up in here, which is awesome. So now we're going to start unloading the van into all the storage we built. Um, that should help us a lot, because then we can get the van all cleared up, and we can go out and start looking for freezers, so that once this produce is made and fishing is done and all that, we uh, can actually put it in something where it won't just go bad in a couple days. Oh, what's the skills looking like now? Um, we're getting real close to strength 5. Uh, we got fitness 4. Most of our combat skills are 4 going on 5. Carpentry is about to hit 5. Um, so we're doing pretty well. Alright, so get all our inventory in here real fast. Yeah, I should get the duct tape and repair these machetes. Start using those again. There's still more weapons in there. So getting a second large backpack would be helpful as well. I've lost track of when the last helicopter was. I don't think we're due for a while yet, but I also don't really know. And again, I've accidentally hit to climb that wall. I greatly look forward to being able to have a roof there so that I cannot climb over it.
grab all the books. Yep, and we haven't really been um, clearing out too much either. Like, we never did properly clear out the tool place, we never did properly clear out the rural supply place, we never cleared out the, um, the bookstore. Alrighty, Hickey, you have yourself a good sleep. Thank you then for tuning in. I'm trying to get as much moved out, that way tomorrow in game we can go after those freezers we need. I don't really know where I'm going to put them yet. I think I'm going to put them on this wall maybe, on the outside, and we'll make another room for storage at some point, but I'm not there yet. And I want to grab these empty bottles and top them off before we put them back there, because that'll just give us more water storage for in a pinch. I didn't realize how much soda we've collected at this point. I knew that we had a bunch of beer, but the soda surprised me. I still have room I can put one more piece of counter on both those edges too. Oh yeah, Rainbow. That was actually another thing I really liked about Timberborn. The idea that like you could build vertically as well was just really interesting to me. Uh, why do I enjoy Project Zomboid so much? Um, it's a nice, challenging game. It has a like it's got a nice level of complexity and all that. Like, there's all sorts of different game ways to play the game and all that, like, you know, you can get into the base building, you can fight the zombies. Um, you can change your settings and just have the game have a entirely different experience. So, I mean, I really enjoy a lot of that. I also am a fan of, like, roguelites and that kind of thing where... Well, not roguelites necessarily, like, roguelike light and roguelike. Where, you know, you end a character and that's like, okay, well, it's time to start the next round kind of thing. To me, that keeps the game fresh much longer. Versus a game that can just keep going forever and ever, usually at some point you just kind of get bored of it. Like eventually your character just gets super strong and it's like, okay, well I've done all the things, so it's, I guess... Not anything anymore. Yep, you have to do a, uh, a decent amount of base building in this game for long runs. Let's see, so we got our water bells, so let's put the water bells here, grab one for here, one for our main backpack. Well, 
But like if the why do I enjoy the game so much was also more like why do I play it so much and stream? Like I enjoy the game, but it's also one of the games that people seem to enjoy watching the most. So, you know, part of streaming is being aware of what your audience wants and, you know, catering to that. Now, it's said, if I ever got to the point that I just wasn't having fun with the game anymore, I wouldn't play it more, but we're nowhere near that point. That's not where I wanted to put those. I forgot we had all the guns. Okay. Or bullets. Yep, and then the game is also under development, so you can never quite catch up either. Oh yes, we have been well past this on 16x pop. Uh, 16x pop, we have fully cleared Ekron like in its entirety before, um, and we've gotten real good progress into um, Riverside in a run. Uh, what did us in? Um, I was not as careful as I should have been on looting. I had been particularly trying to go after the um, the expert tailoring book and was getting frustrated that we couldn't find it anywhere. So I was just going into random houses and we went into a house where I didn't take the time to clear out around behind the house. Uh, we went to the garage, went to come out of the garage, and there was just a zombie waiting for us. And basically what happened is... A zombie had seen us through the window, is my assumption of what happened. A zombie had seen us through the window while we were uh, going in. Just silently walked in. And, like, when I stepped out, I just stepped out right into it and didn't, you know, do anything to, like, protect myself because I hadn't expected to run into anything. Like, just basically, I walked in, the zombie grabbed us from behind and got us. It happens. It just takes one moment being careless to ruin everything. And a character should have gone to sleep a long time ago, but I'm just really trying to get this vehicle emptied as best we can. I just could put all of this just into the weapon kind of stuff. Alright, so I do think though we got enough out of the van, and I will attempt to climb that again on accident and fail again on accident because we're overburned and exhausted.
I really don't need these kitchen knives anymore. Those are stockpiled from when we didn't have weapons. But they don't weigh much, so we can just keep them around, whatever. Alright, so you got like three units left in you. The equipment's all going to be way over. I'll drop the radio in there, even though I really should just take it apart. We'll put the clothes in here, it's fine. I think there's a point our character goes to sleep. 